My name is Linda Sarsour. I am born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. I consider myself to be a feminist and maybe not the traditional sense of the world feminist of what people think when they think feminist. My parents instilled in me that I am the voice of the second, third generation of Palestinian Americans. One thing that has come up a lot uh, for me as a Muslim woman is this idea of humility. I have been told numerous occasions, you're too visible, you're too loud, you're, you're too outspoken. I'm not gonna be humble to the point where I'm quiet. The idea behind modesty in Islam is for people to be able to judge me by my character, not by the way that I look. I'm very proud to wear a hijab. I don't think that wearing my hijab takes away from anything um, that I can do or be. Islam is very clear about the encouragement of the education of women. I mean, there's just so many clear examples of the leadership roles that women have held when there has been oppressive behavior against Muslim women worldwide, most often that has come from political reasons or even cultural reasons. Oppression of women is absolutely shunned in the Islamic faith. I don't like to go to mosques where men and women are in different floors or if women are in a smaller space. If we're following the footsteps of our prophet, our prophet never did that. It's not an Islamic principle, like dividers between people praying, like that just wasn't something that existed in the founding of Islam. When people see me, they think that I'm an anomaly, that there's only one or two or three of me, when in fact there are millions of Muslim women across the world, and particularly here in the United States, who are strong, who are confident, who are educated, and who are making a difference in our society.